Greetings fellow Port Masters, I am Crash Rousel, and it is once again time to crash the Skylands with another Top 10 video. Now, I say another Top 10, but this is actually my first Top 10 video I've ever done. And I apologize in advance if I sound a little nasally, because I have just fought the flu, and I'm still kind of getting over it. So I apologize if I sound nasally, or I sound a little bit, you know, out of it thinking for my top 10 on a channel 100% based on Skylanders that I should start off with my top 10 favorite Skylanders. Now there's a ton of Skylanders out there, so trying to figure out my top 10 took me so long. It was unbelievable how long it took me to figure out 10 of my favorite Skylanders because there's so many. There's from the original figurines to Giants, Swap Force, the new Trap Masters and everything in between with the minis and legendaries and all that stuff. So it took me a lot to figure out, but I did figure out my top 10. Now I just want to quickly explain the rules for this uh, little countdown here. This is based around all four series, which ranges from Spyro's Adventure all the way up to Trap Team. Nothing is left out, but the only thing that will be left out is I can't have two of the same kind of Skylanders on So say if I have Spyro on the list, I'm not allowed to have Mega Ram Spyro or Elite Spyro or Spiri on the list. And along with same with Light Core characters, I can't say I have Whamshell on the list and then have the Light Core Whamshell also on the list. Um, maybe I'll do a separate thing about my favorite Light Core characters, something like that. But for right now, I'm just going to stick to just basic Skylanders and how I enjoy playing them. Plus, I have a lot of good stories of why I like them too. So, we're not going to waste any more time. We're going to hop right in to number 10. When I first got Trap Team, my main focus was to get all the traps so I can capture every villain. While looking at Stumble on the first wave of Skylanders Trap Masters, a huge selection was there. Crypt King, Gear Shift, Jawbreaker, Gusto, and of course, Wildfire. Just looking at how awesome the design of the Skylander was, it was actually my girlfriend who convinced me to buy him, since I asked her which one I should get between him and Crypt King. After a few sessions with him, I got the hang of all of his awesome abilities like his Trap Tandem Shield Bash and his Chains of Fire pullback move. But it wasn't until I unlocked his Soul Jam move line form that I have never been so amazed with an already powerful Skylander getting even more powerful. After acquiring his Fire Roar and even Hotter Shield, he became a wrecking ball throughout the entire Trap Team game, even up to Chaos, where he hit the final blow. Yeah, that's right, Chaos. You got beaten by a cat. Boom Jet was one of the first Swamp Force I bought when the game came out. Excluding Blast Zone and Washbuckler, I bought him along with Hootloop when I first purchased the game. I see a reoccurring theme here. Anyways, I was amazed by how confident this character acted. So amazed that I have compared him to myself many of times. He's a simple Skylander in the way he plays and controls, his main ability being his football bomb, where he continuously lobs bombs at his target. His winter mod ability isn't much to write home about, but given another Swamp Force Skylander's bottom, he could be much farther up the list. But hey, they're swappable for a reason, am I right? So, quick little update from that uh, last thing I said there. I actually noticed I didn't upgrade Boom Jet's all of his abilities, so it was only recently that I discovered how cool his moves actually were. I mean, they're not a, enough to push him up higher than the number 9 spot, but I still think that he deserves a little extra part at the end to describe that I did love his stuff. So, sorry about that, buddy. The reason Flameslinger is on this list is actually a really interesting one. It's not because he's the most amazing Skylander ever, it's because of an event that I am including him. My two friends and I were playing a bunch of PvP matches, randomly choosing Skylanders, when a battle between Bash and Flameslinger came into play. For a good 10 minutes, my friend and I participated in one of the most epic, amazing matches I have ever played. It's still one of the best matches I've ever had. It showcased both of their skills, but it really made Flameslinger shine in my eyes. A mix of ranged fire arrow attacks and his close range flame dash made him one of the toughest opponents I've ever faced. Well, it was either that or my friend was good at the game, which she isn't. Sorry, Reed. I've got my eye on you. When giants were released, I was happy to see that some of my favorite elements got awesome giants, while some got pretty bad ones. Undead Element came out with the best one hands down with Eyebrawl. When I first got the Skylar, I knew he would be a powerhouse, and boy was I correct. Eyebrow is one of the strongest and toughest Skylars available. His Haymaker punches, even before being upgraded, were quick, powerful, and effective. And don't think his punches are everything about him. He has the ability to literally rip his eye head thing off, and it shoots lasers. Lasers! 
from his eye. He has a laser eye that flies, an eye that flies, and shoots lasers. Plus, his mini eye smile is just plain adorable. I mean, look at it. He's so cute and tiny and white. What's his crazy cheeks? Does he even have cheeks? Swamp Force released some awesome core Skylander figures. From Windup, Punk Shock, Scratch, and Frino, none of them stand in comparison to Grim Creeper. He's a ghost with a scythe, that's all I need to say! Okay, fine, I'll try to explain. Grim Creeper has so many awesome abilities, from a scythe swing and his poltergeist scythe to destroy enemies, and his ghost form a spook and destroy used to confuse enemies and even healing them at times. He even has some of the best catchphrases in the game, like, He made me fall back in love with the game that I already loved. It takes a true Skylander to do this. Another smash hit. You know that one Skylander? The one that you see and become obsessed? You need to have it. You want to know its abilities. How tough it is, how powerful, how quick, how creative he is? Well, Doomstone is that Skylander for me. I had every single Skylander up to that point except for him. I had asked friends, family, co-workers, everyone to keep an eye out for the Skylander. Even my girlfriend when she was out of province looked for me. Nothing. Until one faithful day. <laughs> I remember like it was yesterday. I walked into my local EV games just to browse some games and put down money on my pre-order for the newest Pokemon game. I said to glance at the Skylanders and that's when I saw him. I stood there with him in my hand staring, eternally screaming about how I finally finished the collection. The greatest part of this? The wait was so worth it. I got home and that same day played non-stop with him until he was at level 20. Everything about him I loved. It might have been the fact that I wanted him forever, or his awesome column club stony spin abilities. He made an amazing and awesome finish to my collection. Obviously he's high up on this list. Spot is the main reason why I even bought the first Skylanders game. I grew up with the Spyro series on the original PlayStation, playing it randomly all the time, knowing all the secrets, tips, tricks, etc. So it was obvious when I first got Skylander's Spyro's Adventure that he would be my main character. He even kept his main game abilities, Dragon's Fire, Charge, and even his Hover ability, which Spyro, after years of only being able to flutter for a while, can now finally fully fly. His style and skill portray throughout all the games, from his own adventure to Trap Team. He's carried a legacy on his back and can easily support the weight. Even getting his own elite figurine with upgraded armor and 10 times more powerful, making the Spyro Legend even more amazing. The only reason he isn't higher up on this list is because he sadly didn't bring anything new to the table in this series. He just kept on nostalgia on point. May the legend never die! When I first bought the Skylander Spyro's Adventure starter pack, I initially thought Spyro would be the one I used the most. That wasn't the story when I started playing with Trigger Happy. I'm a spammer gamer, meaning I'll press the same button over and over again because it has effect. Rapidly shooting Trigger Happy's Golden Pistols was and still is one of the most effective ways I'll ever play the game. It's helped me through tricky boss fights and long range enemies, along with Trigger's witty humor of just shouting mine 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 over and over again. His pot of gold and golden machine gun just make him one of the best all round of fighters in the game. Even in the later games, he still gets crazy by literally riding a rocket throughout the playing field. His legacy has been cemented after being released as one of Eon's elite, giving him more power and more armor, making this guy not only crazy, but unstoppable. But how can you stop something that's crazy anyways? Blinded by the light. Flashwing's entrance to the Skylanders world was one that I kept my eyes on. She had the most unique moveset I've ever seen. Shooting crystal shards from her tail that stick to walls and heal her, her shimmering spindle wheel that makes her not only hit enemies, but to make her move faster throughout the world, and even better armor upgrades to make some attacks not even affect her. She's the only Skylander in my opinion who had outshown the rest on the initial release of Skylander's Giants. The best part of this whole thing? She was released again as a light core. That means once placed on the portal power, she explodes the world around you, and then you can immediately take down the rest of the enemies. But the best, best of this whole thing? Flashwing knows how amazing she is. She even likes to tell you. <laughs> Don't worry, Flashwing. I understand egos. You'll be fine. Bash was one of the first Skylanders I bought besides for my starter Skylanders. When I first got him, I loved his rock and roll ability. It made him fly through levels. So fast, I strictly used him to beat the time challenges within any game. Actually, I've used only him to beat every game. 
Yeah, that's right. I've beaten all four Skylanders games with just Bash. His Tail Swift ability made enemies easy because I one-shot almost everything. His Rock and Roll ability made it easy to dispose of smaller, weaker enemies while flying through the level. The Summoning Stone Uppercut works awesome for range attack and enemies on ledges we can't reach. Everything about Bash makes him an unstoppable machine. Even this mini version Bob is a smaller unstoppable machine once you upgrade it. I can't really explain more into why I adore Bash so much. Maybe it's because in my darkest time in the Skylanders worlds, when I cannot beat a level or you keep losing Skylanders, one Skylander always follows through for me. I've loved this guy from the beginning, and he will always be my partner, until whenever the end may be. That ending was pretty morbid. But nonetheless, that does it. That is my top 10 favorite Skylanders that took me way too long to make, but I got it done. So, if you guys agree or disagree, I would love to hear your feedback, so leave a comment below letting me know your favorite Skylanders. If you agree or disagree with, with, with the list, and see how much you agree with Bash, and if you actually love him, because he is going to be appearing a lot on this channel, along with all the other Skylanders. Don't you worry, guys. I love Skylanders. I mean, this channel is 100% based Skylanders, so check it out, along with the links in the description. In the description, there's a link to my Twitter. I'm at Crash Rousel on there, so tweet me anytime. I reply to everything, or at least read it. Um, I also put a link to some of my friends' channels down there, too, because I've been doing gameplay commentaries for years. And they and now I decided to do a 100% Skylanders based channel. So they actually have videos of me recording with them doing tons of varieties of game. So check them out below if you want to see other things related to Skylanders. But if you guys do do want to see more Skylanders, please subscribe and check them because I'll be doing speedrun videos. I'll be doing more top tens or top fives. We'll see. And I'll be doing challenges because people always say that Skylanders is a kid's game. It's not 100% kid's game. I'm 24 years old and I adore this game and I make this game challenging and fun. And that's why I'm bringing it to you guys. So I hope you guys do check it out and hang around. Leave likes, comments, subscribe, all that good stuff. Simply put, guys, I bid you farewell.